Greek. Welcome, let's have a conversation, right? Now, Cassie Beach Greek, why wasn't it Santorini Beach Greek? Or why wasn't Mykonos Beach Greek? Why did it have to be Cassie? Well, it, it, because it's after my heritage from my mother's side of the family, so I'm a proud Nisioti and a proud Cassie. Um, so I thought I would theme this, um, this um, indulgence, uh, this, this uh, journey after my yaya and, uh, and those that came before her. Okay, so the other thing is, you had a very, very successful IT business. Right? How did you go from IT to Greek Divinities? Well, I think, I'd like to think the older you get in life, the more you want to follow passions uh, rather than careers. Um, so, Kazi represents a passion for me. I just always had a passion to do something very great and something that celebrates my heritage and is a homage really to my community, my heritage and my passion for food and wine. You have a knack for locations, right? So the first uh, Cassie Beach Greek was at Balmoral Beach, the iconic Balmoral Beach. Now you've come to Manly Beach, right? So what's this thing about beaches? Well, Cassie is not a Greek restaurant, it's a Greek taverna. Uh, and it's an Isiotic on island based taverna. So, you know, it goes without saying that our food uh, is, is island based, our vibe is island based. Um, but of course our location is island based. So wherever you see a Kazi, Beach Greek, you're going to see uh, a Paralia, you're going to see us on the beach. And, and tell us about this meticulously done decor, hmm. right? You've got grottos, you've got vines, you've got icons, you've got... Tell us about how you, you know, how you came to be inspired to come up with this kind of decor. Well, once again, you know, it's the island feel and my island origins, uh, my ancestry that uh, that fuel the whole design and the experience at Kazi. So when you come here, you want to experience being in a Greek taverna on an island, indeed in Castel Lorizo, but of course we could be on any Greek island. And so we put a lot of effort into the detail. Uh, we even used Greek builders. <laughs> um, but you know, the tiles, the plakakia from, uh, from Athens, uh, all of the taverna furniture is from Bapa. Uh, you know, we bought it in on a, on a crate, so we didn't want to take any shortcuts. And the walls and the bougainvillea, um, the replicas of my ayaz doors from Casa Lorizo, from the ancestral home, uh, all of that goes into making Kazi an experience to make you feel like you really are uh, on a Greek island. In and the surfboard at the front? Well, I guess that's that's a marriage between Kazi Beach Greek and its local community. So Manly is one of the most iconic surf beaches in the world. Uh, so it follows that we have a surfboard uh, and a surf culture on display here as well, albeit with the mati on the board. But. <laughs> That's right, a mati and a surfboard. <laughs> exactly right. Tell us, um, there are lots and lots of Greek taverners in Sydney, but what draws people to Kazi? In other words, it's such a successful business. What draw do you think draws people to Kazi Beach Greek? Um, I think that, um, I'd like to think that it's the most authentic experience they're ever going to have outside of Greece. Um, again, I, I emphasise island experience, so um, I'm not suggesting there aren't you know, some magnificent um, Greek restaurants that have come before us and exist and continue to exist today. Um, but I think here yeah, people really leave thinking they've been in Greece and that they are experiencing that true island of Edna experience. And you've got the aromas from the seaside, the sea breeze coming through, so sure. you've got all that sort of Correct. creating that aura here at, uh, at Cassie Beach Greek. Yes, and there are design elements to the shop, believe it or not, that make sure that happens. So, you know, we had a lot of um, uh, decisions and ways we could have gone in terms of exposing or closing certain parts of the, of the shop. But if you sit at Ka if you sit anywhere at Cassie Beach Greek, you're looking at the sea, you're looking at the beach. Okay. So, you, so Balmoral, Manly, what's next? Is there anything next? <laughs> <laughs> Another beach that you've got your eye on? <laughs> Look, I always say, people ask me, literally the day after we opened Kazi, uh, the first Kazi, is there going to be another one? And my answer remains the same. <laughs> so long as it remains fun, who knows? But the moment it starts to feel and become just a business, um, then we won't be doing it. So that's very, very important to you, that service, that, that contact with people. It's very the passion, the enjoyment. I mean, if you're happy at work, um, if your staff are uh, in a happy environment, if we all enjoy what we're doing, the customers know that they feel that and they enjoy it with us. And that's very great.
Well, Philoxenia, Philotimo. Philotimo. That's right. Yeah, that's right. In fact, Philotimo is central to all of our training and induction material. So, uh, not a single new staff member, or new CASI as we call them, uh, uh, comes on board without an induction into Philotimo. Wow. Wow. Peter Pappas, thank you very much. My pleasure. That's the Gala. Good stuff. Thank mm -hmm. you.